Mike Moore Media. On our media line, Lee Mitchell, director of the Madison Med and Recreation Department. We'll get an update here from Lee on what's going on with uh, recreation in western Rockingham County. Hey, Lee, how you doing? Good. How are you doing, Mike? I'm doing good. While I'm on your Facebook page, you've got fishing, you've got volleyball, you've got a, a youth banquet. There's a lot going on as usual. Oh, we have, you know, as usual, we have a ton going on. Like I said, a little something, a little, a little bit of everything going on right now. Uh, right now, we're actually in the midst of our closing out our, our uh, spring season of uh, sports. Uh, you know, we're wrapping up uh, volleyball, uh, just wrapped up soccer, it's done, and then uh, baseball, softball, and t-ball is all wrapping up here in this uh, next week or so. Mm-hmm. Um, now, one great story uh, that we got is uh, actually in our our baseball tournament, we had a uh, we had a very young team in the Pinto Division, which is, if, if you're not familiar with that, it's seven, eight-year-olds. Mm-hmm. Actually, the team hadn't won a game all season long, hadn't come close to winning the game. Oh. And they get in the tournament game, they get in the tournament time, they've actually won two games in a row in their in their bracket oh. and are, na- are now in the championship. <laughs> oh, wow. Congratulations to them. That's wonderful. So, so, yeah, our coach, Ryan Johnson, who doesn't even have a kid on the team, has coached our, uh, our, uh, our Dirty Birds blue team to the championship in the lower division of the Pinto uh, bracket for the whole county. So, oh, that is terrific. So when's the next game? Uh, so they play that championship on Monday, uh, and that championship is uh, going to be in Stokesdale. So we're mm-hmm. going to definitely cheer those guys on. Hopefully they can pull out a miracle. Maybe we can turn it into a Disney movie. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That that sounds like uh, last uh, last uh, the season surge here for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. absolutely. So well, I'm very proud of those guys. Sure, but, uh, I am with you. That's great. Now, the other big things we've got going on, uh, this Saturday is our annual fishing derby. We always do it the first Saturday in, in uh, June. And we typically have somewhere between 70, 70, uh, 70, 75 folks come out and fish that day. Mm-hmm. Uh, for those folks that are uh, not aware of it, we do it at Ferris Park every single year. We do uh, pre-registration if you can, but we do do on-site registration from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. And then the uh, competition starts at 8 and ends at 11 and uh, we always give out uh, uh, first, second, third place prizes to uh, winners for each division. And then uh, the biggest fish prize, and then we always uh, uh, give out raffle prizes, too. So it's a great it's a great thing, very minimal cost. If the kids are 13 and under, it's only 5 bucks. 14 and over, it's only 10 uh, you get a you know you get a good three hours of fishing and a free T-shirt at bare minimum, and then you got a chance of win, winning prizes after. So That's been going on for a long time, and the weather looks perfect. Good fishing day. Oh, it's a perfect fishing day, and, and, and throw out, uh, some sponsors on that one that really makes this happen. Uh, uh, Men and Outdoors and Ruger and Lowe's has always stepped up and done a terrific job on that and, and has really helped us out on whether it be bait or door prizes or even funding for the competition itself. They, they've been terrific to us. So. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's great. Okay. Now, the other thing, the same day that I'm, at the, that I, I'm involved in both, so I'm, I'm going to go from the uh, pond fishing and, and smell like fish when I leave there, but I'm going to race over. And we've got our big recital in Magna Vista uh, that we do every year. Also, the first Saturday uh, starts at 2 p.m. Uh, uh, Magna Vista High School uh, is our dance recital for uh, D Hart Dance Studio. So uh, uh, our D uh, Hart Dance Theater, sorry, and uh, they do that every single year. It'll be at 2 p.m. and uh, those girls have done a terrific job and can't, can't wait to see them finish out the year. So. Oh, that'll be a nice event, won't it? Oh yeah, absolutely. So they've always done a great job, and I said we've traveled all over the uh, place with the competition this year with my daughter, and uh, I said uh, uh, Miss uh, D Hart's always done a terrific job. Mm-hmm. Oh sure, okay. Now the other things that are coming up, um, we are taking registration for men's softball. Uh, that's, that registration will go through uh, June 9th. The team fee is only four hundred twenty-five dollars, and uh, those games will uh, be played on Monday, Tuesday, or Thursdays here here at. Uh, Jake Atkins Park, which a lot of the folks know is made in ballpark, and it's one of those historical things that, you know, softball's been played up there forever, and I tell you, it's one of the great things every single summer. You'll see you'll see all the young folks out there playing uh, softball with some of the old, older guys, and then you'll see the uh, the legend, I'll call them the legends, they, they come in and talk, talk about all the old days, mm-hmm. of how they used to play back in the uh, the uh, 70s and 80s and during the heyday uh, of Medan Ballpark. And it, yeah, it's just great to see all those folks there at the, at the ballpark uh, telling those stories and when watching some new so- new guys play softball. Good memories, good stories there over the years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now, from the from the old uh, the, the old sport that's always been played here to the new one. So uh, women's basketball made it for the first time last season. Uh, we are trying it again this summer. 
So we're doing women's three-on-three uh, half-court basketball. It's, it's ages 18 or 16 and above. Uh, cost is only $200 per team. And, uh, and uh, again, like I said, we'll play those on Mondays and Wednesdays here at the Rec. Um, like I said, last year went went terrific, and hopefully that'll carry right over into this season. Okay. And then uh, uh, the other big thing is we're scheduled to have our boat race on May 20th. Um, unfortunately, with that date move, it just didn't quite pan out. We didn't get uh, as much registration as we wanted to. Yeah. So we just pushed it back to close to the original date. So we're going to actually run the Dan River Boat Race this year uh, on, sa- on Saturday, August 12th. So it's just going back to this original time. Like I said, we tried something new, try to get some more racers, some uh, different opportunities for some uh, different groups to come in. Uh, didn't pan out. So like I said, we're just going to move back to that original date, and hopefully we'll get that same crowd and more uh, come out this this year. Mm-hmm. Okay. All righty. So maybe maybe learn there. Maybe just leave it where, <laughs> where it's been for all these years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I said, we, we just uh, there's been a little bit of a digression in uh, competitive boat racing uh, mm-hmm. okay. uh, uh, in different places, but. Uh, like I said, we're going to try to revive it a little bit with uh, having a more competitive open division like we've done the last few years and add in a junior division for a shorter run. So if you've got some kiddos out there, it's like 8 to 12, who's who's good at paddling but uh, not ready for a big, long, you know, mile-long race, we've got a nice short race, very easy run. It's going to be well-supervised. Uh, I encourage uh, to bring kids out and sign up for that junior division. And like I said, we'll still have the uh, the other race that we've always had, uh, for those folks that like making that run from from uh, Mass River Park down to 704. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So August 12th uh, for the Dan River Boat Race. Yep. And then the uh, last couple things we got going. We've already started our registration. I know it's a little. It seems like it's a little early, but uh, uh, before you know it, it'll be August. So we've started our registration for our Dirty Birds uh, Youth Football and uh, Youth Cheer uh, for this upcoming season. Uh, so. Uh, Definitely look at us online there. We've always played that foot. You know, we played in the last few years in that foothills division, and we've been very competitive. And the kids have done a great job. So looking for just to uh, add on to that and have another good season uh, coming coming uh, coming up this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, planning ahead on that one. Yeah, very good. Then, yeah, other than that, we just, you know, just our normal stuff. Uh, definitely check out our website. Definitely check out our Facebook page. Uh, summers tend to slow down a little bit uh, as far as inside the building. But we've still got plenty going on, especially with our seniors. That they're already planning trips and um, different events. Our movie, our movie nights, is, uh, our movie days has gone really well. Our ladies who lunch has, uh, has been terrific, and then all, our breakfast club is growing uh, every every single uh, month. So uh, we actually have breakfast club tomorrow. So th- yeah, so Bob, we'll have Bob's biscuits and uh, some other breakfast items, and, and about 60 people in here uh, congregating to have have a little fun together. So so that's always the first Friday in the month, right? We always do it the first Friday, and what okay. we did change is we piggybacked bingo with it, which is done, went off went really well because they love the fact that they can kind of uh, get an all-in-one. They'll come eat breakfast, have a good time, and then stay after and have bingo. Uh, and our bingo card is only a dollar per card, and have terrific prizes. And uh, and yeah, it'll yeah. be right after breakfast time. So. Breakfast and bingo sound like a good mix to me, right there. Yep, that sounds terrific. Hey, breakfast, <laughs> biscuits, and bingo even more alliteration. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right, so that's tomorrow for the seniors. Uh, and we haven't talked uh, about the greenhouse recently. So what's the latest on that, Lee? They actually are coming to install our uh, our long-awaited solar panel today. Okay. Uh, so uh, uh, the greenhouse is up and running. Uh, uh, we we're starting to. We've got seedlings going, and we're going to start programming, I would say, probably uh, by next month at the latest. Uh, we just got our new senior director, which I should have already introduced her, but Adrian Hefner is our new recreation specialist slash senior uh, director. Uh, we welcome her. She's coming to us from Greensboro in the High Point area. And uh, she has uh, th- thankfully got a green thumb and is going to head that programming up uh, starting uh, here soon. So be on the lookout for programming on that. We're hoping to put in some raised beds here shortly and transfer them over from the greenhouse over to the raised beds and start growing some flowers and some vegetables for the community. So. Oh, that's going to be great. Okay, well, welcome to Adrian. Good to have her on the team. Oh, yeah, absolutely. She's been a great fit. She's been with us for about a month now. Uh, we Luckily, we had uh, Mateen Hazel was an in- interim for a while. Uh, she has taken off to go to Nashville for uh, uh, grad school, so we're going to miss her, but mm. uh, she's done a great job of... Uh, uh, training Adrian to get her up to speed, and she's going to ter- do a terrific job in her place. So. Okay, wonderful. Wow, what a good program. Lots, I'm taking notes here. There's lots of good things happening. Oh, yeah, okay. absolutely. Lee, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. 
Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Mike, and thanks for everything you do. All right. Have a good June. We'll talk again next month. Uh, you too. Okay. Thank you. Bye. That's Lee Mitchell, director of the Madison Med and Recreation Department. Yes, I am taking notes. Uh, all kinds of activities going on. I hope you were paying attention, and uh, maybe there's something there for you, uh, your family and friends, or all age groups with uh, the many activities at the Madison Med and Recreation Department. And you can get more information on their Facebook page, Madison Med and Recreation Department. That's easy. And then Madison Med and Senior Center. Please support the uh, programs there with the Madison Med and Recreation Department. And uh, they will certainly appreciate that. And, uh, of course, Lee, probably next time we talk, we'll be talking about Madtown Tubing.